day one. It's officially day one. Yesterday was mostly a travel day, even though we had that awesome supercar convoy from the airport to my hotel. But this is where, for me, the Dubai trip really kicks off at NVN. If you watched the video previously, you'll know these guys seem to be doing, making big waves in the PPF world right now. And my car's here. I can't believe it. It's just behind that wall is the Speciali that we flew just a few days ago, all the way from the UK to Dubai to NVN. Less of the introduction. Let's go check it out. I cannot wait. All right. It's so crazy to be back here. It's cool. Satin Tesla going in. Oh my God, look at this. TDF blue TDF. The awesomeness in this place is relentless. Look at this. We'll come and check this out later, but I've just seen my own car. Look, there it is. There it is, the number plate. We've got a UK number plate here in Dubai. Behold, my very own car halfway around the world at NVN. Who would have thought that? The last time I was here, this is the first time I just sort of dropped in by chance from being invited by the guys from NVN. Was blown away. If you've seen that video, I'll put a link below to the other cars that they had in here the last time I was here. Never in a million years did I think the next time I would visit NVN, my own car would be here. It's just look at it. Ridiculous. It's so strange seeing something so familiar so far from home. The last time I stopped by, I was walking up these steps to give you guys a good view. Look at this room. Fantastic indoor wash bay. So, we're now going to run you through. A sort of, we're not going to take all day about it, but I'm going to show you the highlights of how NVN do PPF. Last time I likened it as if Apple had gone into paint protection film. The environment is so beautiful. Now let's get on with my own job. First up, snow foam application. Applying paint protection film, it is as important, if not more important, to prep the car itself than it is the actual application. It's all about getting perfectly smooth, clear, contaminant-free surfaces. Because otherwise, first of all, if you have any dirt underneath the film, PPF sort of magnifies it, so you'll see any tiny lumps and bumps. But importantly, if you get any air pockets or dirt pockets, over the lifetime of the PPF, it's gonna eventually start to peel off. So you need a perfectly smooth surface for it to apply correctly. And that's what we're doing right now. It's arguably my favorite stage because it looks awesome. Car wash done, decontamination complete. Next up, paint correction. After all, there is no point protecting unperfect paint. So all of the swirls, the spider webbing, minor scratches are gonna be detailed out, and that's when the paint's gonna be ready to protect in all of its glory. It's all about spending as much time as possible getting the, the paint surface right. That's where most of the time and effort actually goes into PPF. And then later on, all of the applications are gonna go on swimming. Okay, car's now being moved into the PPF bay, right next door to one of the most awesome TDFs I've ever seen. While we're in between panels being done, let's take a look around at what NVN have in store at the minute. Start at the back because they have one of the rarest cars here. Look at this absolute monster. V12 by Turbo, sir. 458, an SL65 Black Series. Just look at the sculpture on this thing. I mean, just check out the arches on this. If that isn't a DTM-inspired arch, I don't know what is. They just don't make them like this anymore. 
look at that. Here's some context. <laughs> the arch is as wide as my hand. Yeah, that's stunning. And I like, like most cars that you predominantly see on photographs, it just doesn't do it any justice. These fantastic arch vents and louvers. Yeah, super rare. You might recognize this, GT3 RS. This is the car that I took around the Abu Dhabi circuit towards the end of last year. Had a fantastic time in that. Uh, next time I'm on, I'm on circuit out here, we'll be in my own car, which is still scrambling my mind that that's gonna happen. And look, Gen 2 Cup car. This is in for PPF, because it's about to take part in the Dubai 24 hours. And um, a fantastic demo of how well PPF works is after a 24 hour race, the front of this car, in fact, the whole car is gonna look absolutely battered. So a great case study is gonna be to peel off 24 hours worth of race grime just to see how battered it gets and how well paint protection film works on a car. I mean, that's a wing. I thought the wing on the, the road going RS was big. But check out this thing. Land an airplane on that. How fantastic. Wash bay, 458 and 458 Speciali. Beautiful things happening here. Get the spec on this. I think this might be one feature that my car is missing, having these carbon louvers. What do you reckon? Comments below. Should I be adding carbon vents or louvers to the front of my car? Onwards. This machine is super cool. Um, there's constant water falling on the floor here at NVN. So this machine goes around and sucks it all up and makes it nice and dry. And this has to be the star car that is currently in NVN right now. Immaculate, super low mileage, Tour de France Blue TDF. And I'm so excited that it's parked next to my, my car. That might just be my dream garage. Those two cars would see me for a long time. Let's just have a quick, a quick poke inside because the interior, one thing I love, satin carbon it's just stunning look at that i'm not sure if it was ever an option on the uh speciali or not but satin carbon just says race more than anything magnificent cars taking place here at nvn anyway ppf time so when it gets real the actual film goes on is the panel is lubricated which means when these guys apply it like so they're able to manipulate the panel and move it around to fit perfectly before locking it in place not long till this car will be complete and then we'll be able to spend our time indulging in the sights and sound of Dubai in my very own car ridiculous all right Paper protection film has been complete. While that's been done, uh, casually 918 Spider has been dropped off for paint protection film treatment. Literally every hour here, something new is coming through the door, something going out. It's an amazing place for car spotting. Um, yes, yeah, so it's been brought into this bay. This is the part where all of the PPF gets checked over. It's left to settle for a while, and then they can analyze it closer to make sure there's no air pockets or any sort of detail that has escaped them. And they go over. Basically, this is quality control of the PPF application. And then it gets polished. Now, already, it's like adding another micron of gloss on the car. It's like it looks thick with gloss. It looks fantastic. I mean, under this lighting helps. But outside, in natural sunlight, particularly Dubai sunlight, I cannot wait to see it. It's going to pop so hard. So quality control now. They're also doing a full interior clean and detail also. And then this is something unique to NVN. They are also, they throw in with the job, a full ceramic application. So ceramic is another protection layer that goes on top of the car. Um, it's, it sets almost as hard as clear coat and basically it has a hydrophobic effect, which means any dirt that, that sits on it, any water that hits it will come off much easier. But particularly when you come to clean the car next time, it's gonna just give that car this overall protective layer in addition and on top of the PPF. So that's another layer of gloss. 
So when this thing's done, it's gonna look ridiculous. Check this out. This is something I haven't even thought about. We have a fine gentleman here detailing the carbon backing to the seats. Now I rarely actually pull these seats forward. Uh, but these guys, this is just an example of the level of details they go to. They're checking out every inch of this car. Basically bring it up to better than showroom standard. At the same time, we've got a guy working on carbon on the seats. Gents here working on carbon in the engine bay. Just all of these things add up and it's just gonna pop. Every element of it is just glistening. I cannot wait to get this out in natural sunlight. Even under these lights, it looks phenomenal. But there's no substitute for natural sunlight. And I think after all of this additional gloss, it's gonna be ridiculous. Okay, paint detail complete. It's been poured into a separate bay, and this is where the ceramic coating gets applied. And then I finally get to drive this thing out of the door and onto the sun baked roads of Dubai. This is it, man. There is surreal, there is crazy, and then there's this moment right here. This is mad. I mean, I've been thinking of this moment for a while. This, this whole project came about pretty quickly. Like, it all happened within a matter of weeks. But this is it. <laughs> it's getting real now. Engine on. We're gonna leave the gates of NVN and experience the first turn of the wheel of the British right-hand drive 458 Speciali on Dubai soil. This is so crazy, man. So I'm not aware of many, if any, if any, British cars have come to Dubai. I mean, I'm sure they've come to Dubai, you know, for shows and things, but I'm not sure if, if one's actually spent some time touring the country or not. Here we approach real asphalt. Dubai tarmac. Behold, the British YouTuber has arrived. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> We're in Dubai, in the Ferrari. <laughs> this is so surreal. I can see, I can see the skyline of Dubai in front of me in my own car. This feels so familiar, that feels so alien. There's a lot of sand on the road. Really thankful we just had this thing PPF'd. It would be shot blasted. Well, I've got to say a massive thank you, first of all, to Emirates. Without Emirates, basically the car wouldn't be here. The logistics to get a British car in Dubai is a lot more complex than it might seem at first. Uh, so a massive thank you to Emirates and also to NVN. Uh, we've just had an amazing day prepping this car for what's going to be an incredible adventure. And I, I, I didn't realize how important it would be out here. There is so much sand on the road, even around here. And we're going to be hitting Jebel Jays. We've got track day coming up. We're meeting up with supercar clubs. There's going to be a lot of desert driving. Ah, it's amazing. So, so special. So, here we are. What I really would like you to do, the next two weeks are going to be ridiculous. The content planned is super strong. Please subscribe. You're going to want alerts for this. It's about to go off. This is just the first turn of the wheel. I'm about to drive into downtown Dubai and experience what it's like driving this car out there. I'm already so, so, so excited. Oh, there it is. Sunshine on the face. Yes, I read in the news this morning that England is being hit with gale force winds, rain, sleet and snow. <laughs> so please, tune in for the next video. It's a big one. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.